Members, we have um, over this past summer seen our beach shut down five times this year for bacteria, high level of bacteria in the bay. What I'd like to do is, is back up a little bit here on our monitoring program it dates back to 2001 uh, time frame. Topic of, quick topic of discussion will be the fecal and enterococci and our microbiological analysis that um, we've done. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Fecal coliform and enterococci are both uh, enteric bacteria that normally inhabit the intestinal tract of humans and animals. The pe uh, presence of uh, enteric bacteria is an indication of fecal pollution, which may come from stormwater runoff, pets, wildlife, and human <coughs> sewage. They're present in high concentrations of recreational waters and are ingested while swimming or enter through enter the skin through a cut or sore that may cause human disease, infection, rash. This was the uh, program that we originally had was uh, the ADM coastal testing program that was, was at that time was fecal coliform. They observed exceed 100 <coughs> colonies forming units per 100 mils geometric mean of water sample and a resample results also exceed the bay then a health warning was issued and that's what they were using to close the bay down with. Now they're, now they're using this particular bacteria. The according to studies conducted by the EPA, enterococci have a greater correlation with swimming associated gastrointestinal illness in both marine and fresh water than other bacteria indicator organisms and are less likely to die off in salt water. The enterococci results observed to exceed 103 colony forming units per 100 mils of beach water sample and the resample results also exceeds better than an advisory is issued there. Again, this is the indicator they're using now to close the bays down, not the fecal anymore. Topic one, we're gonna talk real quick on the 2001, 2003, where we tested, what we found, and the supporting information from that. These are the different areas that range from the Duck Pond, Ferro Pier, drain, or Pier Street drainage to the bay, and the associated counts that we saw, although bear in mind these were fecal counts that we were seeing at that time. Different parts of the city that we were I'll see those. There's maps that I've included. In fact, I've got a handout for y'all that has all this. I'll be happy to give this to you. If you want it now, or would you like it after this? Give you one? Okay. Um, Fair Yacht Club, these were areas that we were looking at from uh, July the 25th, 01 through uh, June of 2003. We started testing for intercoxide then, or intercoxide then. Um, that's when we started, they started starting to see that particular bacteria uh, used as an indicator. Our duck pond. Here's the fecal counts. So if you see something that says TNTC, that means two numbers to count. That means they, on the Petri dish, there were so many on there that it became impossible to count those on that Petri dish, so we have to label those TNTC. Municipal pier. Well, these are hard to see up here, but you can see the, the colony counts on the left and their intercoxus on the right. Orange Street here, same thing. Now, topic two here I want to talk real quick is on what we've done in 2011. The Feral Wastewater Treatment Plant, we have one. The not applicable is we're not testing that data. Those dates will correlate with the other dates that we have in here for the other ones, but we only, we only test three days a week there. Flat Creek Cafe was right beside, right up as you come into <coughs> Flat Creek. If you went straight, instead of turning left, going up Flat Creek, there's a small area that boats, uh, boat slips are up in there. These are the counts that we were seeing there on those particular dates. You can see there's a wide variety, range of numbers. Fly Creek Bridge, that's right there at uh, C-98 and the bridge. On those dates we had TNTC in two different counts, 210, we've seen zero. And we have a boat pump out station at the marina, which is just down from the Fly Creek Cafe. We're seeing those numbers. Black Creek at the Woodlands, this is the lift station right here at uh, 98 at the Woodlands, um, by the lift station. Right by the lift station we're seeing 220, 137 TNTC we've had right there. 
under duck pond. Duck pond, you can see we have TNCC there also, 210, 0, 248. A couple of drainage areas up in the Colonial Acres subdivision, TNTC there also. We got any questions? Where does this leave us? I've gone and done this as far as my laboratory here is capable of doing. Now what I'm gonna do is introduce you to Dr. Yu Chen Fung of Auburn University who does DNA testing, who can take this a lot farther than we are capable of taking this and hopefully produce answers to what all these other bacteria samples we've done, they can produce and tell us further. Dr. Fung?